So I'm just about to parcel up this lovely little doll for my friend's little girl and I just thought I'd show you the finished fairy. She's not my best work if I'm honest. Um, yeah, I'm not quite 100% happy with her. But you know, little girls love fairies, don't they? So she's got beautiful blonde hair with little ribbons in. She's got a fairy dress and she's got the dresses underneath. I did put two bells on here, but I've taken them off because I didn't like them. She looked silly. So, um, yeah, so I just thought I'd show you to her before I pack her up and post her off. I do apologise about the noise in the background. My husband is here cutting fabric for me, helping me out. So, yeah, it's quite early in the morning here. This is being wrapped up and I'm going to send it off. Okay, so now I've attached the bottom bit of the globe to the top bit of the globe and I'm going to now sew on the vinyl onto the um, globe and I'm, I'm, first of all I'm going to attach it with some wonder clay. Okay, so I've attached the vinyl now to the top of the globe and I'm going to start sewing in this corner. I'm going to go all the way around there, leave an opening here so I can put in the glitter and the um, stars and then go all the way around and finish that. And I'll come back in a minute and show you that. Okay, so as you can see, I've attached the vinyl now. I've sewn it all the way around and just left this little opening here. So I'm going to now pop some stars and glitter inside and then I shall just sew up around there to keep it all safe inside. So as you can see, the stars and the glitter are inside now. I think I might have gone a little bit overboard with the glitter. But do you know what? Um, I shouldn't shake it, should I? But do you know what? I don't mind because... It's Christmas and if you can't have lots of glitter at Christmas when can you? So anyway so now the next thing is for the Rick Rack to go across like I said I did have a green and a pink and I do think I prefer the green so I'm going to attach the Rick Rack now and then the little bow at the top here and then I'll be back just to add the last back panel and then we'll be done. So I've finished it it's all finished I um, added the green Rick Crack and I had a snowflake button so I decided to put the snowflake on the top instead of a bow. Um, so yeah, there you go, it's done. That's the front, that's the back and now I'm going to, let me see if I can lift it up, there you go. I'm going to go and hang it on my tree. How cute is that? Love it. Good evening everybody and welcome to day 18 of Vlogmas. Did you notice I said evening? It's getting later and later every day when I come on to say hello to you. But there is a reason for that today. I hope everybody's okay. I hope you've all had a nice Friday. Um, a week today and it's Christmas Day. Oh my goodness. Um, we have thankfully now got central heating and hot water. We've had a bit of a, a busy day, as in um, we've had a little bit of traffic in our house today. The workmen have been. Um, they was here all morning repairing the boiler. And then, of course, when they'd gone, I had to go around the entire house um, and disinfect everywhere and wash everywhere down. I didn't have to, but I did do. Because, um, obviously, I want to be as safe as I possibly can. So then um, I went for a walk. Um, took the dog for a walk, done a little bit of filming um, it's still quite cold as you can see I've got one of my big winter woolly um, long cardigans on because it's still a bit cold in my craft room um, but the reason I wanted to come on tonight before I ended the podcast or the vlog I should say is that quite a few of my subscribers have been asking how Tim is getting on and yesterday we had a phone call from the hospital Tim is now due to have his surgery on the 29th of this month, 
we have to go to the hospital on the 26th which is boxing day we have to drive to the hospital which is in withenshaw and we have to go to a designated area for him to have a covid test then obviously we have to come back home and then both tim and i have to isolate we then have to ring up on the 28th of december to get a result which we sort of know it's going to be a negative result because we haven't been anywhere or done anything really and if it's all clear he then has to go into hospital at three o'clock that day and he will be having his surgery done on monday the 29th is it monday anyway i'll be having it done on the 29th so yes we have got a date um i'm not gonna lie yesterday was a bit of a strange day we was very quiet in the afternoon it took us a while to digest it even though we knew it was going to happen and thank heavens for my friends i um attend a zoom meeting on thursday night and they really do pick me up um i had a really nice chat with them um and it, yeah yeah that's all i'm gonna say on that one anyway so yeah i just wanted to come on and quickly tell you that that is what is happening um, and other than that, I've got nothing else to tell you really. Tim and I are having quite a quiet night tonight. We go, not that we don't every night, but we're going to um, watch a movie. Um, I might just participate in a glass of wine this evening and do a little bit of crafting. I will show you tomorrow my progress on my Whitmore sweater. There is a little bit more progress on that. Um, you will have seen today that I finished my little snow globe ornament. I thoroughly enjoyed making that. It was really good fun. And um, what else? Nothing really. I haven't got nothing else to tell you. So for now, I shall wish you all a very good night. And I shall see you all again tomorrow. Take care and have a good night.